Hi guys, it's Charlene and welcome to my kitchen. You know what that means, another recipe. And this week it is going to be stuffed peppers, although you could use this um, to stuff zucchini squash or yellow squash. Just check the difference in the carbs. I like to try and do recipes where they can be flexible and this one certainly is. It has been, I think almost three months. I said I was gonna stop counting weeks and I have, so, but I think it's been about three months now and I've been very strict with myself. I will tell you this week, past week was, or last week, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. So last week was a little rough because we went to the ballpark. Uh, to see our Astros play and that was very difficult. I don't have issues when we go to restaurants because I can always order food. <laughs> um, but when you go to a ballpark, it's a little bit more difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, husband sitting there next to me with nachos, my girlfriend's got the ice cream and I'm like, God help me. Um, so I had popcorn, it does have carbs in it, but between the nachos and the ice cream, I think I did pretty well. There's not a whole lot in um, the popcorn, you know, it's, it's minor. And then they do have a carved uh, meat air place, so I have I had uh, carved turkey and it was delicious. So I managed to stay on track, but that was pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. So um, I did wanna, I didn't take any before pictures. I didn't think about it because for me this is, going to be a lifestyle change you know um I, it's something that's really important to me it's not like oh i'm going to do this for three months or i'm going to do this until i lose 10 pounds or i'm going to do this until i'm a size whatever that's not for me what i want i want to do it because i feel better when i don't eat processed carbs i don't eat those sugars and i don't eat that starch just my body does better without it so i know this and so i want it to be a part of my life um but it just so happens that i am um reviewing a product a uh, new body so i did take some pictures 32 days ago and um of and one of them happened to be my abdomen when i was working out six days a week um my abdomen has always been just tough and part of the reason is um i am in menopause i don't have a thyroid and so my cortisol is um you know out of whack because i don't have those hormones to regulate things i always say that i i'm lacking a lot of regulators like a thyroid like parathyroid those things are all gone for me so it makes it very difficult so that's where fat is stored right in the abdomen so when I took this before picture and then I took an after picture to do the new body, which will be um, coming out if you guys are interested uh, to the, tomorrow. So uh, when I was comparing, I was like, oh, holy crap. And it's funny because my husband noticed way before I even saw the pictures because he's like, wow, your stomach looks so flat. Your look, stomach looks so good. Oh, you look so thin. And I'm like, really? And then he gets all mad at me like I'm playing dumb and I'm like, I really can't see it. Remember guys, I told you it's really hard to see yourself um, and that's why I take pictures because it's so hard sometimes. And I know that my genes are fitting different. Um, I, I know this logically, but I can't visually see it. I know it's just some weird thing. I don't know, is it just me? Do you guys feel the same way? I don't know. So uh, I wanted to show you that picture um, just so that you could see. Now I will say this picture is is not just about the fact that I'm doing keto. Um, this part is, this part, sorry. This part is for sure, because I don't use the new body here. Um, I just use it right here. So this right here though, his tightening, that has nothing to do with the keto because here's the thing, I don't work out at all. I know, I know. Um, at all i know i used to i used to be like crazy and then i lost my trainer and it's this whole story so anyways um i just haven't got motivated again but um so i know that i'm not working out so um i really believe that the firming in my stomach is um from the new body as well so i think it's a combination but this is definitely from the um keto and losing that fat is from the keto. I think it's a combination of both, but I just thought I'd show you the video. So
so that's kind of where I'm at and I um, hope you guys are doing well on your keto journey as well and I hope you enjoy these recipes and if you're subscribed to my channel I just want to say thank you so very much and I do have a playlist um, if you're interested in recipes I do download a recipe every Wednesday so if you want um, don't want to miss one just hit that notification bell and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys soon bye guys all right guys, so the ingredients that you will need are peppers. You can use green, you can use whatever color you want. You wanna go ahead and de-seed them and take out the um, rib. And let me just show you, you just rip them out like that. And then run them under the water. So you have your peppers, you have a cup uh, and a half of the cauliflower, um, that's been finely chopped. You can find it. It comes like this. Um, I've seen it at Kroger. I've seen it at Target. You need some red onion, about three quarters of a cup, some green onion, olive oil, some Italian seasoning, some paprika, some ground beef. I use the, um, I love this. This is Laura's Lean Beef, 96% fat free some fresh baby spinach. If you don't have fresh, you can use frozen. And we also need Monterey Jack cheese. And then um, we're going to use half a cup of a tomato. You can use a tomato sauce. This happens to be a um, the organic fire roasted diced tomatoes. Just make sure when you look on the back with regards to tomato, tomatoes, there are carbs. So in this case, there's four carbs for half a cup. But we're spreading that out to four peppers. So I'm making four peppers. And then you need a little roasting dish and um, to put them in. We're gonna go ahead and set the oven at 350 degrees and let's go ahead and get started in here. And this, these little eight by eights fit four little peppers perfectly. So we got those all ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and brown our ground meat. Add salt and pepper. And I always use kosher salt in my cooking. And then I always layer my seasonings. So I season, 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 season. So we're gonna put a little bit of the Italian seasoning and some of the paprika. Okay, when the ground meat's almost completely cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add three quarter cup of red onion. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the cauliflower. And this is in substitute of the rice that we would normally put in. Add just a couple tablespoons of water just to help that cauliflower steam a little bit. Couple spoons of green onion. We're gonna add the tomatoes. The seasoning, so a little Italian seasoning and a little bit more of the paprika. Now we're gonna take the Now we're gonna take the bell peppers and we're just going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna salt them. And add some fresh ground pepper. And then with regards to the meat mixture, we're just cooking it until the ground meat is completely cooked and it's nice and tender. And then we're gonna give it a little taste and see if we need to adjust seasoning. Okay, and at the end, we're gonna go ahead and add the baby spinach. A couple cups. I'm 
I'm just going to turn the heat off and just let the residual heat cook the spinach. Go ahead and pour this into a bowl. About a cup, a cup and a half of cheese. I'm just gonna stir that around. All right, now we're gonna fill our little pell peppers. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. And once, um, they'll probably take about 45 minutes. Once the bell peppers are tender, I'm gonna top with cheese and then broil them for a few minutes. So let's go ahead and pop them peppers. in the oven. With those stuffed bell peppers, we're gonna need to have something else. So I decided we're gonna go ahead and do a salad. So I just got a, got a packaged lettuce. So I'm gonna make a salad for just me and my husband. And what I do is if my husband's I don't know when he's coming home. So, um, instead of dressing the salad and then it get, getting all wilty, what I do, a little trick that I do, is I'm gonna go ahead and put the salad dressing at the bottom of the bowl, and then I'm gonna build everything up around it, and then when I know he's home, then I can just mix it up real fast and it's not wilted, it's nice and fresh. And then I'm just gonna put the lettuce on top of it, And then I love these little snack pack Kalamata olives. They are zero carbs. So I chopped up one little package of them. They just add such a nice tangy, salty flavor to a salad. And then uh, one of my favorite snacks is hard boiled eggs. Um, I keep them in their shells uh, until I'm ready to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, crack these open and chop them up and add them to our salad. Right. So I've already shelled them and I'm just going to chop them up. And I have an avocado that I'm just going to, I'm gonna put a whole one in. I feel like going to grab another spoon. <laughs> I'll save on dishes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chopped avocado. And add some fresh ground pepper. A little bit of salt, just a tiny smidgen because those um, Kalamata olives do have salt in them. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of cheese to top it. And there you have it. A nice little salad to go with our stuffed peppers. So as soon as the peppers are tender, and you can see you just slice right through. You can add jack cheese. I just happen to have some extra mozzarella cheese fresh mozzarella cheese, so I'm just gonna add that. Just turn the oven off and let that just bake on the top. 